stories of hope. You are a testament that we can discover cancer in the most bizarre of ways. Medical miracles and what they mean to you. So a dog can sense through smell that something might be awry, like a cancer could be broken. Their sense of smell is about 100,000 times better than ours. All new today on The Doctors. Thank you all so much for being with us today. I want you all to prepare to be amazed, inspired, and even shocked from three different stories that we're about to share with you. These are real people who've been confronted with real health crises. It can happen to any of us at any time. I want you to pay attention. Perhaps their experiences, maybe you can better protect yourself and your family by paying attention. And let's start with Susan's story. In October, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. I have been writing children's books for about two and a half years. It was a character out of my children's books that discovered my cancer before I did. My year was filled with a lot of uh, moving and a divorce. I had just finished my fourth book, so I had a lot of stress going on. I had the mammogram, and the radiologist said there's definitely something there. So uh, she asked me if I could do the biopsy. ASAP. When I was having the biopsy, what came to my mind was, oh my gosh, that's what Bella was doing. She was, she was trying to tell me that there was cancer there. About four days later, my radiologist called me at home and gave me the news that it was cancer. My children's books always have a lesson to be learned. And what's fascinating is the greatest lesson in my life came from a character in my children's books. You know, and through Susan's story that we're going to share with you today, you'll discover that you may not always find cancer or some other illness the way you would expect to. Oh, I, know. I know. Character I wonder, which, wonder which character it was. I know. That's really cool. I've never heard that before. But the, ma the important thing is she listened to that and she mm -hmm. went because the sooner we can find, um, you know, detect cancer, the better you'll be able to, um, you know, treat yeah. the patient. Because she could have, oh, it's just, it's my book talking to me. I'm, I'm too into it, you know, yeah. just... It was a character out of my children's books that discovered my cancer before I did. When I was having the biopsy, what came to my mind was, oh my gosh, that's what Bella was doing. She was, she was trying to tell me that there was cancer there. Today we're sharing some unbelievable medical stories that we think need to be told so you can better protect yourself as well as your family. That was Susan, who was talking about her battle with breast cancer. Susan happens to be here with us today. Thanks for being with us. Wow, thank you for having me. And, and Dr. Lisa and I, first and foremost, want to know, how are you doing? I'm doing pretty good right now. I am under treatment, and I'm seeing two oncologists in the next couple of weeks to see about chemo. And I think that you are a testament to the fact that we can discover cancer in the most, in, I'll just say this, bizarre of ways because we're all wondering what in the world helped discover Susan's tumor. You all ready to find out? Yes. All right, mystery cancer detector from the book. Come on out. And she has a fitting name, Bella. She, she, she led you to go get an exam. Pretty, pretty much. It was in the summer, and she usually sleeps at my feet. And in the morning, she would come up to my breast and started poking at my breast. And you know, I was thinking, what are you doing? Um, and she did it several times, and I just kind of got to the point where I just chewed her away. Mm -hmm. uh, and then in October, I had my mammogram. Mm -hmm. And um, that's when they discovered that there was cancer. Wow. Mm -hmm. 
once you put the two together, you are right. Something. And, and so this is one of those situations everyone's thinking, is this possible? How is this possible? We actually have veterinarian Dr. Karen Halligan in our audience to share a little bit about how Bella could actually be a better cancer detector then certainly we can be as humans. <laughs> how how can this happen, Karen? It's pretty amazing. Well, what it is is that that's their primary sense for them is smell. So their brain, the so part of their brain, the olfactory lobe, which detects smell, is the size of a walnut, and ours is the size of a pea. So they really, uh, their sense of smell is about 100,000 times better than ours. What happens is there's certain chemicals that are emitted when you have cancer or when you have low blood sugar or before you're going to seizure that the dogs can actually pick up through smelling it. And then it goes to their brain and that signals it and it gets stored. So you can actually teach these pets to uh, alert when something's happening. She doesn't know that you're having breast cancer, what it is is she knows Susan's normal smell and then something smelled abnormal and that's why she kept scenting it. I had a client who the dog kept snitch, sniffing her crotch and she told me it turned out that she had ovarian cancer. So you really do need to pay attention when your pet is sniffing a certain part that something could be wrong. Of course, we don't want everyone at home when your dog comes and sniffs your crotch tonight to think, oh my gosh, it, it's a bad thing because sometimes dogs just sniff there. Yes, but, they do wait, wait, they do no. But I think that you are a testament to if, if there's an abnormal amount of, uh, you know, your dog is doing something it normally doesn't do, pay attention to it. And if you don't think dogs have this innate ability to know something is about to happen or is happening without our knowledge. This is a surveillance video. It's of a dog who sensed something before it happened. And this is a dog just hanging out, right? Nothing's going on. Sniffs for it, like, I'm out of here. I am out of here right now because something is about to happen and oh, it's an earthquake. That dog knew five, 10 seconds before that an earthquake was coming. So that's, that's another example yes. of a dog's innate sense, right? Exactly. And let's do just talk for a little bit before we go to break about the type of breast cancer that you were diagnosed with. It's invasive lobular carcinoma, which is the rare type of cancer. I think it's 10% right, you're of women. 15%. You had lobular, and the most common one is ductal. In the breast, you have the, the ducts and the lobules. The lobules are the sacs or the glands that produce the milk, and they're surrounded by fat tissue and, and a whole matrix. But these lobules can develop cancer cells, and what happens is if they outgrow the basement membrane, that's when they can spread to other parts of the body. Now, a lot of times with lobular cancer, as opposed to ductile, it can just, it doesn't make a discrete mass necessarily. That one we talk about as doctors, um, you know, feeling like a pea, grape, m and but it's more just like dense tissue. But we are so happy that this little one helped to save your life because the earlier that we can detect it, always the better. And so now you are a huge, not only advocate of dogs helping you out, but, but what else would you want to say to women out there? Uh, to, to get a yearly mammogram, it's so easy. Everybody's busy. Everybody has a lot going on in their life. And to just say, you know what, I'll just wait a year. Because another year in my cancer would have made a huge difference. Mm -hmm. And when I saw the two mammograms side by side, the uh, previous one, there was absolutely no cancer. And a year, 15 months later, there was not only cancer, but the whole breast tissue had changed. And the health benefits of pets just keep yeah. coming oh, along and along. They're not That's only right. stress busters, apparently they can this be way, cancer detectors as well. Thank you for coming on, Thank Bella. You. Thank you, Dr. Howard. Thank you as well. Coming up